Hello YouTube. In this video, we will discuss about magnets. Basically, there are two types of magnets. The first one is the permanent magnets. Like this. And the second one is the electromagnets. So what is the difference between permanent magnets and electromagnets? As the name suggests, the permanent magnet has permanent magnetism. That is, you can not start and stop the magnetism at your will. Plus, you cannot increase or decrease the magnetism whenever you want. Whereas in case of an electromagnet, you can start and stop the magnetism at your will and you can increase and decrease the magnetism to any extent. So the next question that comes in our mind is how to make this piece of iron as an electromagnet and this is very simple all you have to do is bring a piece of iron wind a wire and step 3 is you have to connect a voltage source between its two terminals that is the current should flow through the winding which will create a flux and then this piece of iron would become a electromagnet like this now this piece of iron has become an electromagnet because I've attached a 3 volt battery to it as we can see it is able to attract piece of iron and as soon as I leave the terminal the magnetism is over. That is, there is no magnetism left. There is one more advantage of the electromagnetism is that in this piece of iron you can make any part north pole and any end south pole. Like in this case I have taken a four piece of iron and I have colored these two ends with two different colors. The one end is painted with yellow color and the other end is painted with the orange color. And in this case, I have done winding in a clockwise fashion and I have attached a battery to it. As this is a battery, the current would be coming from the positive terminal and back. To know which end would become the north pole and which end would become the south pole, you have to apply a right hand rule like this. The right hand rule says if your fingers are pointing to the direction of current, the current is coming from the positive end. If your finger points to the direction of current, then your thumb will point to the direction of the flux. And we all know that the flux come from the north end. That's why this is the north pole and this is the south pole. And these both cases are exactly the same. Only the one difference is that the polarity of the battery has been reversed. That is, I have reversed the battery. Although in these both cases, the winding has been done in a clockwise fashion. Whereas in this case, only the difference is I have reversed the battery. So the current would come in an anti-clockwise fashion. Now the current is in this direction as it is coming from this side. Therefore, this would be the north pole and this would be the south pole. So as we have seen that in these cases, you was able to make the orange portion north pole and in this case, you were able to make the yellow portion north pole. Now again, if you see these cases, the winding has been done in anti-clockwise fashion. As the current would be in this direction, therefore the north pole would be this one. And in this direction, the current is this. Therefore, north pole would be this. So, as I've already said that we can increase the magnetism of these electromagnets. 
so how can you do that basically there are three methods the first one is you can increase the number of turns that is if you increase the number of turns you would be able to increase the flux and hence your magnetism would increase that is you would be able to create a strong magnet the second is you can increase the current if you increase the current that is flowing through the wire you would be able to increase the flux and again you would be able to create a strong magnet one way to do that is you can have a bigger source of battery here which would obviously increase the current and again your magnetism will increase and the last and the most important point is you can increase the permeability what is the permeability permeability is the property of a material it is the ease with which the flux can pass through the material or it can be redefined as it is a number that is compared with the air this is a number with which you would increase your magnetism as compared to the air as i have taken here three examples in case of air you have a relative permeability of 1 in case of steel you have a relative permeability of 100 and in case of med glass you have a relative permeability of 10 lakh what does that signify that signify if you take these both example and in this case if you consider that this core is of steel and this core is of med glass the only difference that i am asking you to consider is the core in this case you have to consider this is a steel in this case you have to consider this is a met glass the number of turns are same in both the cases and the value of battery is also the same in both the cases in these cases i am not asking you to consider the polarity of the magnets all we are discussing is the which magnet will be strong so in this case as this is a steel the magnetism would be 100 times more than air whereas in this case this is a met glass the core that you have inserted here this magnetism would be 1 lakh times greater than air that means this magnet would be 10,000 times stronger than the magnet that we have created with the steel because it is these both numbers are have been compared with the air so if you compare these two numbers your magnet with mat class would be 10,000 times stronger than the steel so this is the concept of permeability to know more about materials you have to see my next video and you can type materials on YouTube and you can get my link one more important thing as I have connected a battery to it you have seen and when I left the terminal the piece of iron fall but still there has been some magnetism a residue magnetism that is still left in this case so to know more about magnetism that is the residual magnetism you have to type residue magnetism on the youtube and you can see further details on these both topics thank you very much